From a hidden message on this icon skin to the tiniest detail that'll make your day, here are 20 things you never noticed in Fortnite Season 4. Little known fact, this season included the most overpowered shotgun in years. If you find a heisted breacher from the hollow chest, it's already super powerful, but throw in the first shotgun perk and you now deal over 230 damage in a single blast. And I don't think Fortnite intended the Shield Breaker EMP to be so busted. This thing has a lot of uses like damaging enemy shields, but its main focus is the EMP bar to which disables electronics. That means you can literally throw this at a vending machine and shut it down. Yes, there is a secret to this. In real life, you can knock a vending machine and maybe get a free drink or chips, but in Fortnite, once you shut it down, you get gold. The craziest part, you can keep doing it over and over again. Nice job, in a couple of seconds, you could earn hundreds of gold. But if you find yourself in Eclipse's States, make sure to look at the beach. Epic added some insane details that nobody would notice, like new wildlife. You've heard of boars, fish, and raptors, but now it's time to introduce crabs. For some reason, they're scuttling around the beaches and it's caught everyone by surprise. Kind of like the removed weapons of chapter four. Out of nowhere, Fortnite vaulted the Red Eye Assault Rifle and Thunder Shotgun, or so they thought. Players who got annoyed at Diamond Diva and eliminated her must have been a little confused when she dropped, yeah, the so-called vaulted weapons. Take advantage of this while you can because Epic will probably patch it by next week. A secret that's meant to be found is hiding in May's loading screen. This is some of the coolest artworks we've gotten for an outfit and it's full of details like Helsey's bubble tea. There's also unreleased outfits like Starfang and this male skin from the surveys. Some less obvious references are these unicorns in the style of Fabio Sparklemane, along with the Cuddle Team Leader Pen and Mortal Kombat Oathbound. One of the biggest losses of season four are the famous Coral Buddies though. They were secretly removed by the new POIs, but I have good news. Leakers have found unreleased quest files for fish thick and they asked us to get gym equipment for the coral buddies yeah we're bulking these guys up and we'll eventually be able to recruit them some think they will return buff which i mean that would look ridiculous if you want to get ripped instead use the swole sailor glider this is one of the only times fortnite has given us a special animation when gliding after a couple seconds your character starts doing pull-ups Still not as mind-blowing as the gift that keeps on giving, Midas's Touch. This skin hasn't been obtainable for three years and Fortnite still updates it for every season. If you're wondering if this works on everyone's favorite weapon, yeah, the Rocket Ram actually turns gold. Talk about flying around in style. And look, NPCs are usually the same every season, but this time around, they gave Nolan Chance some unique abilities. As you complete his quests, this gives you extra uses for the NPC, and once they're all down, he gets the ability to constantly scan the area. Yeah, hire him, and you basically got a walking recon scanner with a gun. Minor detail you probably didn't notice involves the new Nitro Fang. In the past, whenever Fortnite drops a vehicle, their license plate will have an Easter egg on it, whether it's super fast whiplashes or a grizzly bear pickup trucks. Now with the Fang, it says stolen, which is strange at first, but this is a reference to Kato Thorn, a collector who takes artifacts from the island. So safe to assume the car is stolen treasure too. In our myths video, I found out you don't have to use a rocket ram on breakable walls. Fortnite never tells us this, but C4 works as well, and I found yet another item that can get you through this freaking wall. Just grab a shockwave grenade and you'll go straight through it to the other side. I don't know what's going on with the vault's mythics though. One of them is totally broken. I don't mean overpowered or glitchy. I'm talking about Midas' drum gun. Well, at least that's what it's called in the glass until you pick it up and discover Jules' drum gun in your inventory instead. Don't well, worry, you haven't been scammed or anything. It's still Midas' weapon with Jules' name. It's super confusing and no one knows how this happened. For those of you who like collabs, you're probably surprised by Cabby LeMay this season. I don't think anyone was expecting this skin, yet here he is and this set is full of details. From his age on the crown to my personal favorite, Cabby's sword. On the handle, you could find Japanese writing, which actually translates to his name. Not the only thing hiding in plain sight because there's a secret that's been undiscovered for a year. At the start of chapter four, we had a POI called Hidden Henge, and at the center was this stone marking that looked like a vault. We knew from the location that the zero point was contained inside, but when the island collapsed, it destroyed everything, revealing the jungle below. Now we realize this wasn't a vault, it was the ancient remains from the jungle which were sticking out of the ground. But that is why the patterns were so confusing. These weren't drawings at the zero point, this was one of their warnings. You see it yet? This is the eclipse. The crescent moon in the center, the circle showing two planets, and some have pointed out that it's very similar to Kato's vault doors. Yeah, they were hinting at season four from the very beginning. 
Over in the latest cast of characters, we have Fishstick. Obviously, this guy's whole deal is getting ripped, as we've seen, and that's why his back bling is a tub of protein powder. Except, this has an added style. It turns out that if you equip it, his built-in emote changes. Depending on your choice, you'll need any design, which is a pretty cool attention to detail. That's to be expected for a Battle Pass skin. They usually have way more secrets included, not to mention, you only get them for a limited time. That ended up being a massive problem for Courage, who recently admitted that he turned down a locker bundle twice. Reason? He didn't know what to include in it, and all of his favorite outfits are Battle Pass skins, which cannot be sold. Back in game, something you can use is the insane gas can trick. This is completely broken season 4, and all you need is a jerry can and a bunch of C4. Throw it down on a platform, detonate while falling, and now you're heading to the moon! Hopefully you got the redeploy perk, but for anyone who finds themselves gliding, make sure you're wearing this combo for an incredible secret. If you have Nolan Chance's back bling and glider equipped, they will work together for a special animation. Speaking of teaming up, there's a new collab on the horizon bringing three characters from a classic anime to Fortnite. We've already had part one, and now it is time for the next batch. According to insiders, My Hero Academia is returning with Todoroki, Mina, and Kirishima. This is from someone who previously leaked Cabula May and Ahsoka last month, so there is a chance it happens. That's just like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles collab. There's already a pizza pit making room on the island, but it's also where Piper Pace goes to work. She's the delivery driver in the battle pass, and Fortnite has made her feel at home. Literally, what was once in a abandoned building at Slappy Shores has been converted into a house with pizza boxes and a garage for her to work on her car. Of course, she's a mechanic on the side, so not surprising. I seriously recommend trying this amazing rocket ramp technique because it is one of the most fun things you can do in the game right now. If you're playing creative mode, you can fly by double tapping the jump button. But if you use a rocket ramp while doing this, it'll let you soar around for as long as you want and it looks ridiculous. For a trick that'll save you in a real match, you probably find the rocket ramps delay annoying, right? You know those few seconds once you hit the ground, it turns out they could be canceled with a single button. The second you land, start building, and it'll cancel, which I'll admit has saved my life a few times. If you're focused on survival, you'll be happy to hear that Fortnite almost booby-trapped the vaults. While making the heists, they were developing a gas trap that would spray stink clouds at us until we got out of the way. My theory is that this would happen when you steal a mythic. Instead of locking down the vault, they were gonna gas us until we escaped. Clearly it didn't work out, but hey, this could always reappear in an update, so we're not totally out of the clear. On the top of future updates, the biggest one in the near future is Fortnite Mares. I mean, Epic has been preparing for this for half of Chapter 4, so we are expecting it to be huge. Every day we learn more about this year's event, and it sounds incredible. We're getting two Halloween augments, Witchy Warrior, which gives 20% faster cooldown for the brooms, and Trick or Treat that boosts the effect of candy. We also know that Kato Thorn is going to play a massive role as the main villain of the event. Not only will he be the island's boss, but he'll turn into his vampire form with custom animations that let him fly around. One of his abilities is is called Life Drain, which sounds terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. You also bring a fan favorite item with him. You might have spotted this in the trailer, but Kato Thorn has his own version of the Kinetic Blade. This new design is gonna be exclusive to him and is expected to arrive with Fortnite Mares. That is just like the Halloween weapons that'll appear in the vault's display cases. Yeah, even these are getting updated for the event. We might see items like Shadow Midas' Drum Gun, the Howler Claws, and the Inquisitor's SMG. Not the only items are turning. Later this season, you could expect NPCs to sell the Flare Gun, and it'll cost 100 gold instead of the regular 245. There's a catch, Fortnite is updating bots to use these too, so it could get annoying quick. Kind of like the drum shotgun for a ton of people. Yeah, a good chunk of the community hate this thing, but others love it. And if that's you, don't worry, this isn't fully vaulted. In fact, you can get the drum shotgun right now simply by loading up Team Rumble. It's there for the taking. But those are secrets in Fortnite Season 4. It's been Tommy and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.